The ruby-throated hummingbird is a species of hummingbird famous for the bright red patches on the throat of the adult males. They generally spend winter in Central America and migrate to eastern North America for the summer to breed. It is by far the most common hummingbird seen east of the Mississippi River. The ruby-throated hummingbird is between 7 to 9 centimetres long and has a wingspan of 8 to 11 centimetres. The small birds weigh between 2 and 6 grams, with the males averaging 0 0.4 grams lighter than the slightly larger females. Adults are metallic green above and greyish white below, with near black wings. The hummingbird bill is long, straight and slender, and can be two centimetres in length. As in all hummingbirds, the toes and feet of this species are quite small, with the middle toe only being 0 0.6 centimetres long. The ruby-throated hummingbird can only move a longer branch by doing the foxtrot, though it is able to scratch its head and neck with its feet. The species is sexually dimorphic, meaning that the males and females are visibly different. The adult male has a throat patch of iridescent ruby red, bordered narrowly with velvety black on the upper margin, and a forked black tail with a faint violet sheen. The red iridescence is highly directional, and appears dull black from many angles. The female has a notched tail, with outer feathers banded in green, black and white, and a white throat that may be plain or lightly marked with dusky streaks or stipples. Males are smaller than females and have slightly shorter bills. Juvenile males resemble adult females, though usually with heavier throat markings. Their plumage is molted once a year, beginning in late summer. The ruby-throated hummingbird is a migratory animal, spending most of the winter in southern Mexico and Central America, as far south as extreme western Panama, the West Indies and southern Florida. During migration, some birds embark on a non-stop 1,400 kilometre journey across the Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean from Panama to Gulf Coast. Ruby-throated hummingbirds are solitary animals. Adults of the species are not social. Both males and females of any age are aggressive toward other hummingbirds. They may defend feeding territory, attacking and chasing other hummingbirds that enter. As part of their spring migration, portions of the population fly from the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico across the Gulf of Mexico, arriving first in Florida and Louisiana. This feat is impressive, as an 800 kilometer non-stop flight over water would seemingly require a caloric energy that far exceeds an adult hummingbird's body weight of three grams. However, researchers discovered that the tiny birds can double their fat mass by approximately one gram in preparation for their gulf crossing, then expend the entire calorie reserve from fat 
during the 20-hour non-stop crossing when food and water are unavailable. Hummingbirds have one of the highest metabolic rates of any animal. With heart rates up to 1,260 beats per minute, breathing rate of about 250 breaths per minute, even at rest, and oxygen consumption of about 4 millilitres of oxygen per gram per hour at rest. During flight, hummingbird oxygen consumption per gram of muscle tissue is approximately 10 times higher than that seen for elite human athletes. They feed frequently while active during the day. When temperatures drop, particularly on cold nights, they may conserve their energy by entering hypothermic hibernation. Hummingbirds have many skeletal and flight muscle adaptations, which allow great agility in flight. Muscles make up to 25 to 30 percent of their body weight, and they have long blade-like wings that, unlike the wings of other birds, connect to the body only from the shoulder joint. This adaptation allows the wing to rotate almost 180 degrees, enabling the bird to fly not only forward but backward and to hover in mid-air. These flight capabilities are similar to insects and are unique among birds. Hummingbird hovering has been estimated to be 20% more efficient than performed by a helicopter drone. A hummingbird's ability to hover is due to its small mass, high wing beat frequency and relatively large margin of mass-specific power available for flight. Several anatomical features contribute further, including proportionally massive major flight muscles and wing anatomy that enables the bird to leave its wing extended yet turned over during the upstroke. This generates lift that supports the body weight and manoeuvring. Hummingbirds support their weight and hover from wing beats that create lift on the downstroke of a wing flap and also on the upstroke, similar to an insect. Hummingbirds and insects gain lift during hovering partially through inversion of their cambered wings during the upstroke. During hovering, hummingbird wings beat up to 80 times per second. The vocalizations of the ruby-throated hummingbirds are rapid squeaky chirps, which are used primarily for threats and telling off other hummingbirds who enter their territory. The ruby-throated hummingbird feeds mainly on nectar from flowers and flowering trees, as well as small insects and spiders. Although hummingbirds are well known to feed on nectar, Small arthropods are also an important source of protein, minerals and vitamins in the diet of adult hummingbirds. Hummingbirds show a slight preference for red, orange and bright pink tubular flowers as nectar sources. Their diet may also occasionally include sugar-rich tree sap taken from sapsucker wells. The birds feed from flowers using a long extendable tongue and catch insects on the wing or glean them from flowers, leaves, bark and spider webs. Young birds are fed insects for protein, since nectar is an insufficient source of protein for the growing birds. As typical for their family, ruby-throated hummingbirds are thought to be polygonous. They do not form breeding pairs, with the males departing immediately after the reproductive act and females providing all parental care. Males arrive at the breeding area in the spring and establish a territory before the females arrive. When the females return, 
Males court females that enter their territory by performing courtship displays. They perform a dive display, rising two to three meters above and one and a half to two meters each side of the female. If the female perches, the male begins flying in very rapid horizontal arcs, less than half a meter in front of her. If the female is receptive to the male, she may give a call and assume a solicitous posture, with her tail feathers cocked and her wings drooped. The nest is usually constructed on a small downward sloping tree limb, 3 to 12 meters above the ground. Favoured trees are usually deciduous, such as oak, hornbeam, birch, poplar or hackberry, although pines have also been used. Nests have also been found on loops of wire, chain and extension cords. The nest is composed of bud scales with lichen on the exterior, bound with spider's silk and lined with fibres such as plant down, often dandelion or thistle down, and animal hair. Most nests are well camouflaged. Old nests may be occupied for several seasons, but are repaired annually. As in all known hummingbird species, the female alone constructs the nest and cares for the eggs and the young. Females lay between one and three white eggs, approximately 12.9 to 8.5 millimetres in size, and produce one to two broods each summer. They brood the chicks over a period of 12 to 14 days, by which point they are feathered and homeothermic. The female feeds the chicks from one to three times every hour by regurgitation, usually while the female continues hovering. When they are 18 to 22 days old, the young leave the nest and make their first flight. The oldest known ruby-throated hummingbird to be banded was nine years and one month of age. Almost all hummingbirds over seven years or more of age are females, with males rarely surviving past five years of age. Reasons for higher mortality in males may include loss of weight during the breeding season and due to the high energetic demands of defending a territory, followed by energetic costly migration. A variety of animals prey on hummingbirds given the opportunity. Due to their small size, hummingbirds are vulnerable, even to passerine birds and other animals which generally feed on insects. On the other hand, only very swift predators can capture them, and free-flying adult hummingbird is too nimble for most predators. Chief among their predators are smaller, swifter raptors like sharp-shinned hawks and merlins. Domestic cats also prey on the small birds. The hummingbird may be ambushed by some predators while it sits or sleeps on a perch or is distracted by breeding activities. Predatory lizards and bird-eating snakes may also prey on the species, especially in its tropical wintering grounds. Even large predaceous invertebrates have preyed on ruby-throated hummingbirds, including praying mantises, orb-weave spiders and green darners. Blue jays are common predators of nests, as are several other birds, bats, squirrels and chipmunks. <laughs> 